Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's the ill blur, Maddie, 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 Maddie. It's the illest blur in the land. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's the ill blur, Maddie, Maddie. Welcome back to ill blur, Maddie. What is going on, legends? Thank you so much for commenting, liking, and subscribing, and also returning to check out the content. Let's get into this. So, today's new video man oh man oh man i can't believe it right victoria alonzo uh settles a dispute with marvel with disney and marvel Woo! wow after she wrongfully got fired at marvel studios um it seemed like she decided to uh you know get the lawyer involved her her person to to represent her and her wrongful firing at Marvel Studios. So let's give you a little bit of the backstory of the real reason why, because uh, I talked about some of the reasons, but uh, this one is the second reason she got fired. Well, really the third reason. So I'm going to talk about all three reasons to sum it up. So the first reason she got fired was because she was working on Argentina, her series at Amazon, working with the competition. Uh is messy. <laughs> you know that these streaming services are competing with one another. And that breached her contract at Marvel Studios as the president and over the visual effects department. Uh, the next reason why she got fired, she just wasn't good at doing interviews. They didn't really like how she handled interviews. So that was another problem too. That's why a lot of us when she got the position at Marvel Studios as president, when Kevin Feige went on to become the creative officer at Marvel Studios, he was still the face of the interviews because he was a better person to do interviews. He's got better interviewing skills. And they probably looked at it like, eh, she ain't really good at interviews. We really don't like how she's doing these interviews, how she's handling it. Nah. Nah, <laughs> absolutely not. Um, and that's understandable. Now, the third reason is the most surprising. I was right slightly, but I was wrong on my behalf on it. It wasn't because of Ant-Man flopping in the boss office is why she got fired. Uh, the real reason was because the LGB references within the film uh they marvel studios was trying to get rid of that in ant-man 3 victoria alonzo was stuck in her ways meaning she was stubborn about it and she got what she wanted i'm telling you boy she like thanos at, at marvel studios <laughs> she said i i i i, I. <laughs> she said we gonna put that in this movie you know what i'm saying uh, and that's crazy, you know what I'm saying, to, to see them butting heads with one another about this. Insane, man. And you know what? She was wrongfully fired. It, it wasn't just like a, a firing, like, oh, yeah, she got fired just because. Uh, I mean, they, I think they were, they, like, literally, when I think about this now, um, I guess after the Ant-Man thing was like, you know, that she won that. <laughs> The, uh, against them, they're like, "Oh, we still fire you." <laughs> and Marvel was like, "We we still firing you, right?" So I, I like how strategic they were. They were like silent about it, you know what I'm saying? Like they just like, "Hey, she fired." <laughs> um, you know, we know Kevin Feige was a part of it. We know the head of Walt Disney, uh, the chairman was a part of it too, but. I think with Kevin Feige, the reason why he couldn't just like, you know, say, hey, yo, you getting fired and stuff. I think they had a good working relationship. I'm sure they had their differences, just like any coworker at a job. You working with someone, you're going to have things that you guys have in common. You're going to have disagreements, too. I mean, it is a working environment, right? Um, I think personally, Kevin Feige didn't have the heart to do it. You know what I'm saying? And, and I understand because... You build relationships with people, and sometimes the closer you are to a person, it is not easy to do something where you're going to randomly, like, I'm going to fire you and, and, and move on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I think 
when it comes down to it, yes, she was wrongfully fee wrongfully fired, excuse me. <laughs> but the thing was, she didn't get paid. So I love that she uh took it upon herself to get a lawyer to settle this with Disney and Marvel on getting her cheddar, her mozzarella. You get what I'm saying? Even though uh she didn't quite do what she was supposed to have done at Marvel Studios because she was focused on her passion project too, besides some of the other factors that I mentioned. Um, I think Mar I think Disney and Marvel got scared, y'all. And I'm gonna tell y'all exactly why I think they got scared. So remember after Victoria Alonzo got fired in March, right? Uh, she mentioned that she was working on a memoir, meaning a book on her life, right? So I think they realized like, yo, <laughs> we got to pay her off to, to, to tell us like, yo, I know you coming out with this book. Uh, we don't want all our secrets coming out in this book that's coming out as a company. You know what I'm saying? Um, and the thing is, she could be dirty about it. She could air out every single thing that Disney and Marvel is doing to her, also the people that work at this company, and it could get ugly. I mean, you know what I'm saying? So I think they realize, like, do we want to make her our enemy? You know what I'm saying? I think that's really what it boiled down to. Was like, do we want to make her the enemy? So they probably realized, like, okay, we can do something, you know what I'm saying? So they settled uh, a lawsuit, uh, you know what I'm saying, for her wrongfully firing. Uh, Marvel's really been quiet. <laughs> Marvel has been really quiet, you know what I'm saying? I can understand why, you know. Maybe they still don't really want to pay her due to what took place. Um, But, man, she is like the godfather out here, boy. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, God, dog, even though she's no longer at the studio, she out here thugging it for real, for real, boy. Um, it's amazing, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I think they really realized, like, nah, we, we don't want those type of problems with her. You know what I'm saying? Because we already know how she was at the studio uh, when it came to, like, how she treated other employees. And I think they realize we, we do not want to go to war with Victoria Alonso. <laughs> Even though she's no longer the president of Marvel Studios or, or the visual effects head department, we don't want to go to war with her. <laughs> but you guys tell me in the comments, are you surprised that Disney and Marvel are going to be paying Victoria Alonso her actual money for the wrongfully firing of her? Uh, and my next question is, do you think Marvel, Disney and Marvel are scared that her memoir is going to expose all their dirty little secrets at the company? You tell me in the comments, guys, a blur living in the world, guys. Thanks for commenting, liking, and subscribing, and also fully watching the video. And I'll be back with another video. Have a wonderful Saturday and Sunday, guys. And I'm out. <laughs> Thank, 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 thank you for the support now, the support now.